here we are at the fire sanctuary at long last. Nice place. I feel like Scrapper is flirting with Fi. Yes, indeed. Scrapper has been flirting with Fi, uh, with, flirting with Fi the in, for the entire playthrough. <laughs> and we got a new, we got this nice little area, the fire sanctuary, where the last flame is located. So, that's interesting. Might as well be a nice prestige place. But we have this new concept here. That water plants are now going to basically cool off the lava in certain places that allow us to have a little bit of a platform for us to encounter. But we're gonna need we're gonna need arrows though. We're almost out of arrows. There we go. At least the game's gonna give us arrows as a uh, benefit to us. Uh, this er this dungeon we're gonna get a lot of use out of the beetle. As the beetle is gonna get is gonna be quite useful in this dungeon. So and the lava here is flowing, so it's actually gonna push this thing to the end here. Take care of you. Wow, okay, you die in one hit by those bows. Okay, good. That's awesome. Take care of you. I missed. Nothing over that side, so we just need to jump off our train here, and off we go. So what do you guys think of the Fire Sanctuary as the potential, the, but technically, the last main dungeon of the game? In terms of, uh, of traditional dungeon layouts. Because this is our final dungeon, by technicality. Because, like, the last area we're going to get is, you know, where the Triforce is, or wherever it is. So... You got a small key! This key will open a locked door! I want to use it in this area! Okay, well, I want to see... There might be a potential... Wait, can we get over there? Yes, we can! What is over here? I want to let go. There we go. We got jars. More, uh, arrows. We're going to be using a lot of arrows, so it's a good thing it's giving us a lot of arrows. Oh. oh ho ho! Ah, the exit at last! Whoa! Don't scare me like that! I thought you were one of those monster creeps! Oh, hey, what's this? You guys have a swanky pair of diggy mitts, don't ya? Who are ya, anyway? Mm, I'm on a quest. Hmm, I get ya. Huh, me? Oh, yeah, the name's Guild. I'm the big boss of the Mogas. But those diggy mints you bought, you got right there? Oh, I invented them! Ha ha ha! No offense, pal, but you don't look like the kind of guy I was sent in here on a treasure hunt mission. But what do I know? You might just surprise me. So here's the deal. Word in the tunnels is that there's a huge treasure hidden in this ruins. But no one's ever seen it has ever come back to tell the tale. Catless treasure hunters have disappeared in here. Poof! Gone! As a treasure digger, I gotta warn you just to turn around and enjoy the many peaceful years of digging left to you, bud. But you're gonna do this no matter what I say, aren't you? Pretty much. All right then. Well, I'm gonna let you on a little ancient treasure hunting legend passed down by a mong of generations of mogas. Every moga is worth a handful of dirt. Knows this one. Here we go. Ye you seek the entrance to the king's treasure. Look for the two statues that face one another. Show your bravery and jump into the mouth of the sleeping statue. Do this and the path will be opened before you. You remember all that and you're golden. Uh, thanks. Some of my guys are searching around here for the treasure. If you get lost, holler at one of them. Hmm. Well, we'll give, we'll give them a holler if we find any of them. Managed players, you say, I personally enjoy this dungeon. I really liked for the concept and music. The concept, the concept is nice. I like the concept of this dungeon. It's a more of an open air dungeon, as it were. There's a lot of open air spaces. Look, there it is. The boss door is right over there. I mean, we got a, we got a labyrinth. Oh, we got curse bats, curse keys. If they hit you, you will be cursed, and you won't be able to use your weapons, which is annoying. That's what the curse technically does. Hey! Hear you. Thanks to our sword being stronger, 
Basically, Bogoblins are no threat to us anymore. And our sword's only getting stronger as we go along, so... <laughs> Great for that, huh? Uh, let's see here. We got another chest. Probably worth 20 rupees, isn't it? Yes, indeed. You got a red rupee! It's worth 20 rupees! Don't spend it all in one place! Oh, we will, personally. <laughs> Let's head down this way. Come around here. Oh! Something's in that lava. That's unsettling! It's a hand! Whoa! Ow, 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 ow! Well, luckily... That's not going to harm us too much, as our flame shield earrings didn't reduces any damage of fire to us, so... We're going to let that helpful hand of theirs to, uh, put us up to this platform up here. More arrows for us to enjoy. Dash up this vines here. Hey, you know what? I need another horn from you. Hey! I'll take that from you, thank you! Might use it as a material. Might as well. <laughs> there you. Block your arrow. Ha, you have nowhere to run, buddy! <laughs> so we need to cross around this area over here. We can get over here. There's another m m goblin trying to hit us down. You missed! You too shall be honored to know the, le the, the fighting skill that is getting hit with sword. It's a very good u technique. You should learn it. Oh, I'll just show you. Just hit you right there with a the sword. There's a gate! There's nothing we can do about it. Hmm. Well, let's head out to the door we can. But, like, where, what is going to be the item we're going to get in this dungeon? Since all of our major item slots are already filled up, thanks to the last dungeon. Oh, we got another new enemy. We got a cursed Lazophos. If he hits you, you will be cursed. And he does exactly the same way as everything else. The pattern is the same as ever, so it's just easy to take him down. Woo! Woo! What an expert, expert dodging! Booyah! I personally like the, the mini-boss music. It's like really hyped up. I really like that music. Also, Skyward Sword has a really good soundtrack. When it, when it plays, when the songs are right and the mood is right, you just, you just feel that, you know, that intensity. You really do. Alright, so we're into this room here. We're gonna get used to our little friendly beetle here. Uh, some money is up in here. Take care of that. We upgraded our beetle last session, so now we have it fully upgraded. So our beetle can now... Well, I got cursed. That stinks. Gotta wait for the curse to... Will you stop doing that? So this is how it was when you're cursed. You can't really do anything. And you have to wait for the thing to run out. Which is a lame. Means we're gonna take care of these guys right now. Because I know as soon as I'm gonna use that beetle, they're gonna hit me. You! Get out of here, you. Get out of here. Don't wanna be cursed again. Let's get our tough beetle out. Let's speed across here. We need to grab a bomb. I need to fly back around. I need to blow up this rocky outcorping here that's blocking lava flow. Right there. That's Skyward Sword has great music, indeed. Though I do have to say, though Twilight Princess does a, I think that some tracks in, in Twilight Princess do hit the notes in certain strides. So now we've got that. Um, Lava flow going. We can now move forward by actually uh, getting our little our own platform here to come down. 
Go back here. And that sound is directly went from, uh, from... I think that sound is actually from, like, Majora's Mask or Ocarina of Time as a stock sound effect. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but it sounds so N64-ish. Of the platform uh, coming out of the lava. I think it's what it is, too. Going to here and oh, <clears throat> well that's an unpredictament. That stuff looks hot. I want my little hot bath for my sore shoulder, but this is too much. What have we got here? Another new guard? Ha! You can't break me with my interrogation, son. You'll never make me talk. I'm not some sideshow for you to gawk at. Get lost. Shoo now. Hey, we're not meant to be mean to you. Jeez, hold on. We have to use the gust bells here, because now we have these, um, little hot rock places. Or hot ash, as you want to call it here. All we have to do to blow them away is just use our gust bellows. Let me blow this all the way here. We can move, the path can move forward. And we got a chest here! We get a small key! This key will open a locked door when I use it in this area. And so we got some sand here, too. Oddly, that sand's here. I guess it's to tell you about... Oh. That hand's a little close for comfort. We have a target here. Can't do anything with it. Hmm. Let's see. Where did we go from here? I think we use our beetle here, I think. Oh, there's a door here. Okay, uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, we have a locked door. We can go through that key. Don't worry, man. We'll save you. Just hang around. Yeah, funny. <laughs> man, I wouldn't be one to hang over lava. <laughs> oh, we got more of these plants. These plants do actually do hurt you if you actually run into them, so bear that in mind. As we can see, we can actually break these plants, but we can also carry them. And so that we can, you know, throw water whenever we need to. Bear that in mind, because we're going to be needing to do this a little bit pretty soon, actually. Let's come around this way. Oh, there's more magna chews. You guys here. Let's go back this way. Here, take care of a lot of these little plants here with water. And let's take care of this rupee we found! We got a red rupee! It's worth 20 rupees! Don't spend it all in one place! <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> so I was like, I really didn't care. <laughs> Out of here, you red choo choos. What's in this chest? Da 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 da! Yet! You got a monster horn. Well, this well-crafted horn is made of sturdy animal bone. You might find it uses the use of material. Another one for us to use. What's over here? We got more choo-choos in our way here. Uh, let's see. What we need to do is actually stab one of these. And thirst a quench a frog. For the fire to go out. Alright, move forward here. Got green goblins. We have cursed enemies again, as usual. They, they feel like all the cursed enemies in this dungeon. It's I'm not sure as to why it is, but we think that the cursed enemies would all have been done by the ancient cistern. But not really. They put them here for some reason. Ugh. Oh no. Oh, we got fire hands. This is our boss. We need to pull out the gust bellows. Ow. If the camera wouldn't work with me here, we want to let them pick, them, pick up a hand up. Oh, come on, camera. 
Will you not want to work with me here? Alright, come on, baby. Come on, Lava. Really, camera? Are you really gonna be this dense to me? We need to take care of these guys. Alright, come on, baby. Come on out. We need to blow on I think we need to blow on him, I think. I believe that's what you have to do. As far as... I'm oh, wait, no, no. We have to put water on him. That's right. We have to put water on him. That's what we gotta do. We gotta left them up. Mini boss music is great. That's right. Oh, that guy was clipping through the wall. Hey, buddies. I got a little present for you. Maybe you come up and actually see this. Oh, I got one at least. Break him apart. That's how you kill him. I was doing it the wrong way. <laughs> Ow! Hey, why don't you lift me up? This is Master Hand's molten brother. <laughs> Thank you! Take care of you here. Now I need you to come up and fly. I missed. Because I can't really lock onto this guy. He's so helpful. Come on, buddy. There we go. Hit him hard. Booyah! Both hands down. And with that, the lava drops as well. Nice. I was watching you, pal. You really soak it to them, uh, those lava thingies. Amazing stuff. If you don't mind, one more thing. Well, right. How about you get me down from here? <laughs> oh, right. We need to get him down. <laughs> Let's go save him. I need my hearts back. There we go. I don't actually don't have a health potion, which is actually kind of a shame, but, you know. Shouldn't be too hard. Let's save you. <laughs> Let you stop hanging around. Oh, yeah, I'm saved! I don't know who you are or where you're from, but I owe you big time! Are you looking for treasure, too? Treasure? Well, well, no point to hide it. There's no only one reason you could have come here so far in here. I can see on your face you're here because of the legend of the sleeping statue, right? Uh, yeah, sure. But those are some busted old digging mitts you got. You can't go using them for treasure hunting. I got it! As things, I'm gonna give you a replacement pair for my secret stash! Don't go nowhere! Well! All yours! They've been in the buried treasure chest, so they ain't dirty or anything. Now these aren't the kind of thing you can get easy on your hands on just anywhere, so take good care of them! Right then, I'm out of here! So long! That's right! As our last major upgrade we're gonna get, we got the MOGA mitts. Even the MOGA don't see digging mitts this fancy very often. They don't just dig holes, they also let you borrow your way underground. Try to find holes that you can dig in into. As the, McGain, uh, the new mechanic of this dungeon is underground. Has been order to actually get around this place. We need to go underground. We get into a new sort of a mechanic here of sorts where we now use the digging mess to uh, break open a way forward for us. Hey pal! How are those mitts beating ya? Or treating ya there? If you want to get a good look above ground, press Z! Got it? Press Z to see above ground. Don't forget getting it! That's right. If you hold Z, you can see where you are at on the map. So it's actually nice to use. We want to do this. Hit a bomb here to blow up this metal corping that we can't break. 
I'm going over here to collect the money because, you know, treasure. We want treasure, right? Treasure is good. I find the digging mitts lame and boring, but concept is okay. Hmm. You say that, huh? About it? Uh, well... Well, again, the, they, really, they really put themselves into a corner, though, because our last main upgrade was the bow and arrow, and that filled up the last slot of our, event, of our adventure pouch. So, by technicality, they can only really have gone with this is to upgrade the, mo the, the, the mitts. So let's blow away some of this hot ash rock we've got here. We have another digging spot for us. But we need to get another key. We can't get through that dungeon door without it. We got some more ore, money, money, more ore, and money. Not bad. I'll take it. Hmm. But now we got to know about these these gates that we have to take care of. Uh, the gates, these these gates, hey, have a switch. It's underground, and the only way to get them moving is to get underground yourself and hit them. It's the only way to get around these places. So yeah, there we go. There's a concept to this place that we're going to get to pretty soon in the dungeon where you'll have to do a chase sequence. As well as fighting. Yeah, we're going to have to fight in, the, in that area and that's going to be annoying. <laughs> but we'll get to that once we get there though. Oh, we got another fight on us. Well, let's use our bow and arrow. Take care of you. There we go. Now we use our claw shots. And I missed, somehow. Go this way. Around this way right there. There we go. Crossed. I'll take those hearts. Thank you very much. <laughs> But there's a managed place. You say there's a lot of mini bosses in this dungeon. Yeah, there is. And I've been, as, I've, as I said before, this is our basically our last, you know, main last dungeon in the game. I'm not counting the final dungeon we actually get into at the very end of the game, but this is our last, you know, main line dungeon. I don't know who you are, who you found, but I need to get down right now. <laughs> get me off this chain. I'm in a hurry. I'm not asking you to do it for nothing, though. Set me free and I'll tell you about a big gargantuan secret about this room. It's a secret about treasure, okay? Hey, if it's not a secret to everybody, I don't care. <laughs> so we need to satisfy the thirst of this creature here, of this thing here, to get him down. So I think we need to go in this hole first, I think. Because we need to hit the gates here, I think. Uh, this one over here, I think. Let's go up this way. Let's use our... Okay, that door's open, so now we can go back up there. Head back upstairs. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there's another hole there we could have gotten. Uh, okay. So I need to get over there somehow. Okay, there's got to be another opening on the opposite side. These puzzles, these little like mini like mazes or something, always baffle me from time to time. Because it's like, where do you go? Because it's not very clear where you need to go next. Personally. Uh, let's see, we need to... It's kind of weird they give you, like, two openings here to hit the gates from. Let's go hit this switch here. That opens up that door back. But there's no emergency down here, so I wonder why the whole point of the whole gate thing was to begin with. Oh, wait, oh, wait, that's right, we have to hit this. That's right, that's right. There are two switches. The gates move independently. Manage players, you have a question for me? What is it? Question, what do you think are there some issues with Skyward Sword? Issues with Skyward Sword is its bloated structure. If there is that if there's one big complaint I hate uh, or something I criticize about this game, is that 
it's bloated. Like, bloated to a ridiculous degree. Oh, I need to hit that gate back. I messed up. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to do a level of a cut there. Because I... The, the main issue I'm ha I have with, uh... With Skyward Sword is... The first hero of time! Thank you for the follow, really appreciate it! Thank you very much! And how are you doing this fine evening? Hope you're having a fantastic... The first hero of time, he made it! <laughs> We're playing as him right now! <laughs> Hope you're having a fantastic night. As we're continuing on with the story. As I'm going to well, go back to the question there. Uh, before this. Hero of the sky. Hero of the sky. Hero of time. Um, I would say the bloated structure is what I think this game's had its biggest problem. Like the story. The concept of the origin story of the Zelda series. Should be really simple. But since they want to. But the sense they want to put as much motion controls into the game as possible. This is where it gets it. It's just... It's bloated. Bloated to the ridiculous degree. And the imprisoned fight... That we have to face him... We're gonna be... Curses! <laughs> I can't climb with... With this on my sword. You're doing very well, honey. I am doing very good. Oh yeah, also that Skyward Sword is very linear. Like... Again, the whole fact is that there are so many hints... As well. There's so many hints in the game that tell you exactly where to go and what to do next. Even Fi tells you how to do it. And then there's also the hint system. And then there's always the, uh, the, uh, you know, uh, the Sheikah Stones tell you exactly what to do next. As well as a, uh, come on, I'm trying to hit the switch. <laughs> there we go. Here we let this guy down. Oh, ha! That is the sweet, sweet flavor of freedom host and uh <laughs> thanks for talking about the trouble to free me sucker you really think i would divulge super secret info about treasure my mama didn't make, make no patsy i spent too long finding that info huh those gloves are from my brother's secret collection are you friends with my brother that's right wait wait wait, wait. there's something i want to give you i'll just get it wait right here and just ditches us <laughs> All right, there we go. Here, take this. So there's some super secret info that I put together. It takes from Squint and work to get to it, too. Had to survey this place near a hundred times to figure it out, but you ready for this? Now, don't go fainting when I tell you. Right here, there is a hidden room! So in return, please don't tell anyone that I was captured. It'd just be our little secret, okay? All right, but you know what, though? It's a secret to everybody! Ha <laughs> ha! All right, then. Go ahead and open up that, but don't forget our deal. Later then, I'll say bye now. Oh! Oh, hello! You... Hey, we meet again! <laughs> Sorry, but I kind of have to overhear that conversation. I think one of my guys was giving you a hard time. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> but the stuff what you were saying was all true. There's a breeze coming from somewhere in this room, I tell you. I can smell it. I figured that information in that chest would be useful to you. Oh, so the guy was a little nervous about his <laughs> brother being there. Let's see, Mash plays are saying, uh, I agree with TP is, uh, the most linear Zelda game. I would say it would be linear, but at least it's not hand-holdy. Skyward Sword, in my honest opinion, is the most hand-holdy game in the series. Well, that room has a fake wall somewhere. And the other side of that wall, there's another room or so right here. So the ground underneath is full of monsters, so we don't go telling too much down there, but if you're feeling adventurous, there might just be a hidden route. Okay, well we need to find this room then. We need to... Should be using our sword here. Uh... There's gotta be a bomba wall. I think it's a bomba wall. No, I didn't want the... I keep forgetting that the... Nice. It's either this one or this one. We'll figure it out together, won't we? There we go. 
Alright, let's head off into the next room.